bless the lord greetings to all my listeners in the precious name of our lord and savior jesus christ today's devotion is from second samuel chapter 2 our relationship with god sometimes become very distant that we hardly talk to him we may stay away like that for a long time and god won't speak to us and this was the case with david right before the incident that happens in chapter 2 devil does it he distracts us from talking to god and we get disconnected from god for a long time when we come back to god what a great a refreshing and comforting experience is that here we read in chapter 2 david came back to god and he asked god's counsel and god spoke to him he asked god whether he should go to any of the cities of juda and if he should go where exactly he should go god answered him and God sent David back to Hebron back with the God's people People of Judah there crowned him as their king Now he is the crown prince not officially a king but only the king for the people of Judah In verses starting from 4 through 6 we read that the men of Judah told David that it was the people of Jabesh who buried Saul when his dead body was being abused by the Philistines Upon hearing this David sent to the messengers with words of blessings and encouragement He could have given them great rewards immediately as a king. But David stayed in humility and wisdom. He knew that it was not his time yet to act. He was not taking things right away in his own hands. Instead, he promised them kindness. David waited for his time as true as and a real king who is in power in psalms chapter 78 verses 70 through 72 we read how david a young shepherd boy of his father's sheep was exalted to a position of shepherd of the people of israel god's people he ruled with integrity of heart and skillful hands that is the result of waiting result of going through god's training it is not achievable if we rush by our own human efforts david waited for another approximately 17 years since he was crowned in juda before he was anointed as a true king we can read many great men of god in the scriptures who had gone through this training period which god allowed in their life for the glory of god apostle paul waited peter waited john the baptist waited they all waited patiently and gone through this trials in their lives how about lord jesus our lord and our savior he waited for 33 years on this earth before going on the cross and he won victory over sin and death dear my sisters no cross no crown david learned this great truth through his trying times 
God was so patient with David to prepare him for his position as a king. We are sometimes so impatient. Sometimes we jump into God's ministry without any training. We need training in God's own way, not human training. Not just to have some intellectual knowledge about the Bible. Knowledge is good and we need it. But what we need more is patient training under God's loving and merciful hands. He may discipline us. We have to endure patiently. It's all for our better future. We should not rush. We should learn to wait patiently for God to equip us and qualify us for His work. God doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies whom He calls. So we have to wait until we hear the clear calling for His service. And dear my listeners, my sisters, when He calls, we need to obey His voice and go forward. No more waiting then. Praise the Lord. Amen.